Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another haul. What's new? I know. So this haul is shoes, of course. Like, shoes is my new favorite thing ever. It's my obsession right now. I just need, like, all of the shoes. Not some of the shoes, I need them all. You know. Clothes. Some clothes, not a lot. Makeup, miscellaneous items. Jewelry. So a lot of people I know say it. I got jewelry. I got jewelry. That's it. So let's get started. So a lot of people are going to say, Leah, you really needed like both. You couldn't have just picked one. No, I needed both. I'm the most indecisive person you'll ever meet. Ever. Like, I have a hard time deciding things. If I like two things and they're similar, but I don't know which one to choose, I choose them both. I can't decide. I... Can't. These products and items are from like a month or two. I think two months at the max, like all put together. Because I like to save a bunch of things so that the haul will be bigger and it's not like a five minute video. Because I like watching hauls where they're like 30 minutes long. I want to see everything. I don't want a five minute video of a haul. That's not a haul. You need a lot of stuff for it to be a haul. I got these flats. Just normal, you know, black little flats, super cute, Old Navy. Thanks, Old Navy, you're overpriced and stupid, but my mom dragged me there, so of course I had to buy stuff. And I couldn't decide, <laughs> so I got the pointed ones, too. This is what I'm talking about. I have a problem with being indecisive, and <laughs> I feel like these are more, like, professional-wise, and these are more, like, comfy laid back. Obviously, they're both, you know, for work, but it depends on the outfit, you know what I'm saying? that makes sense I just they're both like super cute and simple but like different at the same time and I don't normally like pointed toe shoes but these were like cute I got a like not white pair it's like an off-white pair it's kind of like a tannish ish color mm, beige ish but yeah we'll just go with that and I ended up seeing these super cute green ones I had to get them. I had to. Look at how cute this color is. And I got a shirt that matched it, kind of. And I just thought they were super cute. And they're not that expensive. They were only 25 Oh yeah, and the shoes, the rounded ones were 20 and then the pointed were like 23 So like, it's not that bad. I don't know about you, but I do a lot more online shopping than I do in-store shopping. First of all, because I have nothing around where I live. Second of all, because it's so much quicker and easier and sometimes cheaper, so like, why would you not? I've been actually buying some shoes off of Amazon, super convenient, prime, shipping, like, super simple, cheap. I got these cute sandals and the inside velvet, so of course it accumulated all the dog hair already, but I haven't worn them yet, but they're super comfy. Like, this is like memory foam material, and they're just like little crisscross zip-up sandals, super cheap. I think they're like 13 bucks. And so I got that because my dog chewed my other pair of sandals. Yeah. So yeah, super cute and simple. I say this in every haul. I'm like, cute and simple, super cute, super simple. But like, it's true. <laughs> now I get mixed reviews about these. I wore them only once so far and I got, wow, those are so cute. And then I get, ew. So I guess it depends on <laughs> your style and how what you like. I love them. They're platform. They just have a gold Velcro buckle. The only thing I would advise is to like get an actual like an actual like an actual metal buckle or like a button I don't know where I'm going with this but anyway the velcro just can like pop off if you're not careful I'm starting to get like more and more into platform shoes and stuff not only because I'm short but because they're just so cute like that is so cute a lot of this stuff is from TJ Maxx because one TJ Maxx is like the only good store around here two because TJ Maxx is the shit I got new sneakers. They're white, I know, very dangerous. They're Puma, and I think they're only 30 bucks. And they're soft foam, so they're super, super comfortable, and they feel amazing on your feet. I don't normally do white, like, 
occasionally, especially shoes. But I've been like loving white shoes because the next pair is also white, so surprise. The thing about me is I'm not really into like the big name brand things because first of all, I'm not a millionaire. And I'm not saying that you have to be, but I'm just saying. I have more important things to put my money towards than a freaking $200 pair of shoes or whatever. And two, because I also am very frugal with my money. Like, yeah, I'll spend, you know, here, here, and here, but like it's all cheap, cheap, and cheap. Like I love my inexpensive, good quality stuff. That's just how I am. I will never be shy of where I got things or how cheap it was or whatever. I'm here to let you know all the good deals and where you can find stuff that's super cheap because I know all of us work hard for our money and we don't want to spend it on one thing. We want to spend it on multiple things and save some and whatever you want to do. Going off on a rant here. So I got these at Dollar General near me. Literally $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. And they're just super... I right, think super simple or super cute one more time. I had a pair of these that were way more expensive, by the way, and my dog chewed them. What's up with my dog chewing stuff? My dog chews things. What do you want from me? Then I got some tie-dye no-shows because no-shows are the best ever. No one can change my mind. Another pair of shoes that I just got. And you're going to be like, Leah, are you kidding? Another pair? Yes. I'm not kidding. And mind your business. Let me tie them up. Let me tie them up. Why did I feel the need to do that? So, like, not too much of a heel, you know, just, like, a combat boot heel. And then the ties actually tie around the back and tie in the front, which I thought was cute and different. Like, it's not, like, a normal heel. It, like, has cute little wraparounds, and then it ties. And I thought these were friggin' hot as heck. Like, ooh! Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. I just got these at my shoe department. They were on clearance, so. You know your girl had to get them. <laughs> so this, I guess, is a two-piece. And I bought it for this piece. So this stuff is from Sheen. So it kind of goes like this. I just don't understand why the moon is to the side. This is like just a standard shirt. See, I said standard instead of simple. It's just a blacky, <laughs> blacky. It's just a black croppy top. It's not full cropped, but like, it's not super low. Like, yeah, I have a bunch of plain blacks, but I didn't have like a plain croppy-ish shirt. I had a plain black crop top, but it wasn't croppy, it was like full crop. I'm like, well, what if I want to eat a lot that day? Then I can't wear a full crop top because then my belly will be showing. And it just won't be as cute. So if I get a crappy black top, then I'll be able to eat what I want. Moral of the story, I think about food. That's it. I got a new toner at TJ Maxx because I ran out of my witch hazel. No, this is witch hazel. Because I ran out of my... Why can't I think of the name of it? Because I ran out of my toner. That's it. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> I just got this citrus witch hazel, which it smells amazing, by the way. Fragrances don't really bother my face. I don't have sensitive skin. But it's alcohol-free Humphreys citrus witch hazel. And it's a facial toner, obviously. I just said that. And this stuff is really good. I actually really like this. I know a lot of people that I watch on YouTube rave about it. And I've always wanted to try it. But I've just always stuck to like what I know and what works good for my skin. But... This is actually really good, and I got it for $6 at TJ Maxx. Also, I got this Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer because I am the whitest Italian you'll ever see. I do tan. It just, as I got older, it's gone downhill. I'm very anemic, so I can't tan well, and I suck. So I got this, hoping that maybe it would give me a little tan without having to like self-tan because I feel like if I ever try to self-tan, it's going to be blotchy as heck and super noticeable or orange and I'm just terrified to look like an Oompa Loompa. I've seen that one too many times with girls and it's embarrassing. I do not want to put myself down that path. So I got this because it's just a lotion that will gradually make you tan. So I'm wondering if it'll make you orange too. I don't know if you see me in the next video and I'm orange, then you know why. <laughs> Another thing I got at TJ Maxx, I love face masks, obviously. I recently got a sleeping mask in a kit that I bought and it was like a sample size one. So I like wanted a full size, but I didn't want to 
get that one. I saw this one at TJ Maxx and I got it for I think like five or six dollars and it's an aloe vera sleeping mask. And it's all in a different language so I could not tell you what it says. But on the front it just says the hydrating gel cream sleeping mask with aloe vera supplies intensive moisture while you're sleeping. I have high hopes for this and I haven't even opened it yet so let's sniff it together because if it's gonna stink obviously I will not be putting it on my face. It kind of smells like cucumber, but I know it's aloe, but it smells pretty good. Oh, it is like an aloe consistency. I am such a child. Well, I was at five below. I got a Freeman face mask. I have a couple of these already, just obviously different ones. This is a water gel mask, hydrating cactus and cloudberry. This smells... <sighs> oh my god oh my god smell it smell so freaking good this is a leave-on mask so you actually don't wash it off moving on to make up girl i bought a new sorry i took it out of the package i used it today i bought another baby skin from maybelline instant pore eraser i used to be obsessed with this and you'll see it in my like beginning videos and I totally forgot about it because I've just been so swept up in like the new products that I have that I had to fall back in love with it and I'm reusing it and it is really good. It's still really good. Like that's good. <laughs> Another thing I got at TJ Maxx is a vitamin E moisturizing oil. I love oils for my hair and that's about it. But this I wanted to try on the face because vitamin E is super good for your skin. And I also wanted to try it underneath my eyes because I've heard that it helps with like puffiness and dark circles and anti-aging under your eyes. So I wanted to try that for those reasons. I don't think I would ever put vitamin E in my hair. I think that's a little weird. Maybe it's normal, but I have other oils for that. I have two of the Jeffree Star times Morphe or Morphe times Jeffree Star, whatever, trio, like sponge trios. Oh, one is smashed. How dare they do that in packaging? Um, I just love Jeffree Star, and honestly, I didn't mean to get two. It just happened. This is from a Morphe, um, shop, ship, shop, a Morphe purchase. Jeez, I'm pro. This is stuff is from a Morphe purchase, by the way. I got two of the Morphe Lash Books. They hold your lashes because I tend to just throw mine in a place and forget about them and then have to throw them away and not reuse them. So I got a super cute, like, Morphe. I hate myself when I talk. So I got myself two cases where you can just put your eyelashes after you're done using them. And I would probably, <laughs> what I'm going to do because they're mine and I can do it at home. I would probably write the brand and like what kind they are underneath so if I do use them for future videos and stuff I can let you guys know what brand they are so that I don't leave you hanging. I also got two of the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist because this stuff is so good. So good. I have oily skin and that stuff literally like sucks up the oil. I don't get oily all day. It's like super good. At least with like what I mix with my foundation and like what my routine that's going on, it's like perfect. I'm in love. I would have to say it's almost, it is better than my Urban Decay All Nighter because my Urban Decay All Nighter still allows me to get oily throughout the day. So, whoa, I know, I know, relax. I'm just as shocked as you are, but it's true. This video is all over the place, okay? So just <laughs> bear with me. This is from Five Below. I just got a selfie ring light again for when like I want to do like close up. Okay, my ring light is allowing me not to show the ring light. But um, there's three bright settings and it just hitches to the top of your phone. It was $5, so why would you not? And it's USB rechargeable, which my other one was not. Last time I went to TJ Maxx, I found a lot of makeup for like super cheap. Like I feel like something's wrong with this stuff, but I know it's not. I got, and I've used this every day since I got it last week, so pardon all the smudges and stuff on it. 
and I saved the box to it to show you guys the price. I am not messing around with you. So I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio and I got it in Peachy Love because I love peachy blushes. This was only $7. What? Yeah, I said it. $7. That's it. And there's literally nothing wrong with it. Nothing. I searched, like I checked everything before I got out of the store. Look at how beautiful. And like I said, I've used it every day since and it's amazing. I love this blush. I've been using it literally every day. I can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. So love that new addition. Now I can throw the box away. I still don't understand how I got it for this cheap. So I got the Subculture palette. I know it's like old news, whatever, but I don't really buy makeup that much anymore so I don't stay on top of things. $10. Wish I got all my other Anastasia palettes for that much. And like I said, I open it in the store. The brush is still there. Everything is perfect. In case you don't know what this palette looks like, there it is. I love Anastasia's eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, I have a lot of them. On my eyes right now is the Modern Renaissance. I love that one. I have the Prism palette that I did a video on. I'll link that below. But these colors are so pretty. I'm loving the yellows. And I know that I swatched this in Sephora once, but I was like, mm, no, like, mm. It's like for what you get, it's like, oh yeah, I have those colors semi already. Obviously not all of them, but. And then the price, I was like, nah, it's fine. Like, I don't, it's not a need. But then I saw it for $10. I was like, um, yes, right now. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial with a bunch of random products. I know nobody watches my videos. <laughs> the sad truth, but I enjoy making them. And then I got a bunch of Stila products. I got a glitter and glow, which I have a lot of, which I love. I'm obsessed with them. I got this for $8.99. $8.99. All the other ones I've spent, I think it's $30. It's definitely over $25. Pretty positive. They're not cheap. I got this one in Sunset Cove. Look at that. Are you kidding? Freaking $9? And I paid full price for all my other ones? Why? Why did I do that? Oh my god, it's literally beautiful. And I hate pink. This is gorgeous. This has like pink, purple, and blue in it. So get away from me here. I also got a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Biscotti. The colors look similar, but if you're a true makeup artist, you know that they're not the same. This one is Biscotti. And I mean, side by side, you can also tell that they're like not the same. I got each of them for $5.99. Like, what the heck? Oh, and they're so creamy and pigmented. They're like just so good. But these are their sheer ones. So these are more definitely not matte, I assume. I don't think I have any of their sheer ones. I just have their liquid lipstick, like their normal ones. These might actually be like more on the glossy type, but honestly, I'm okay with it because I love any type of lipstick. Oh, okay. So only one of them's sheer. It's called Sheer Splendor. Obviously, you can tell which one the sheer is. This is Sheer Splendor, and this one's Biscotti. Am I the only one that puts their stuff back in their package after hauling it? Why? You know you're going to use it, but it's just I need to so that I remember that it's new and I need to use it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I also got the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mini Velour Liquid Lipstick, the Nude. This one has Skin Tight Mannequin Celebrity Skin Posh Spice Rose Matter Gemini Leo Androgyny. I am wearing Celebrity Skin on my lips now, and I can't open this because not all of them are in here. As you can tell, this thing is very loved, and they're all over the place. But I am wearing Celebrity Skin now, and it's... I love Jeffree Star, everything, so I, you already know what I'm going to say. So now I would like to talk about some jewelry. Why I want to say it like that, I don't know. So I got these, which are super pretty. I've been more into like browns lately. I'm unsure of why. I can't remember if I got them at Five Below or like Sheen or like a random website. I can't remember because I got them a little while ago and I just haven't worn them yet. So I figured I would just include them. These I know for a fact I got at Five Below, and there's a lash in one of them. <laughs> okay. These are literally one of the prettiest pairs of earrings I've ever seen in my entire life. It'd be like a cute pop-up color. And then you know me and my hoops. Mm-hmm. So I got a new pair, but these have like black 
fabric wrapped around them. And to some, I'm sure they're ugly, but I love them. I think they're super cute. I got these for like $2 or like not even $2. I think they were like a dollar from Charlotte Ruse when they were closing at a store. I also got some more necklaces that of course are simple, but will also like, you know, change an outfit. I just got these gold circles. Is that what they're called? I think there's a specific name for them, but I want to call them circles. And it's kind of longer, but these I got from Sheen, obviously by the tag. Now this I'm so excited to wear because you know I got my pups and I love my puppers. This one has a little paw print on it. Look at how cute that is. And I thought it'd be so cute to wear. Oh, I guess that's not that long. It looked longer. But I thought a gold, a little gold paw print was so cute. I had to get it and all of these were on sale for like three bucks so i'm sure they're cheap quality obviously but like it's not like i'm rough with my jewelry so i can still wear it perfectly fine i mostly like gold jewelry because most of my rings are gold and i think just some things i mean i'm wearing silver as i talk but I was just in a gold kick when I was buying all this stuff and then I just got a plain gold bar. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. I also got a phone case. It says, I don't give a shit. It was like $2 and I thought it was so like just funny and cute. Obviously this is not for protection because if you drop your phone, it will shatter with this on it. I've been super into like skin, obviously fake because I'm not about that life. But like in my heel video that I just did, I have a pair of like fake snakeskin heels. And then I just bought like a fake snakeskin bikini that was like neon green. And now I bought a belt. I won't take it out of the plastic, but. I think it'd be a cute accent piece and maybe it would even match my, um, my heels. Then I got another pair of shoes. Just plain white slip-ons. Like I said, I've been getting into white shoes lately, which is very a dangerous game to play. But these were so cute and they were cheap and I love the white. Like I have a black pair, not obviously the same, but somewhat similar. And I loved the white and the brown. I thought it went perfect together and even the bottom is white, which obviously will not last long. But they look super like comfy and I love the buckles. So these are from Amazon, like I said, and I think these were like 13 or $10, somewhere along those lines. You put them on, obviously, and then this just ties up your ankle, like up your leg a little bit. And it's super cute. I have to double knot it. I wore them for the first time today and I had to double knot it because it kept like trying to untie and then loosen up. And then I think I got them like a size too big. I should have gotten a six, but... I still make them work and they're super cute and comfortable. I mean, if you have a problem with flat shoes, I wouldn't recommend them. But on Amazon, if you type in sandals, you're going to get so many and they are literally so cheap and I don't understand why you wouldn't buy them. I also got a thing of chokers at Five Below. They have a bunch of different colors. I'm obviously wearing one, which will not stay in its place. And I just love bright color sometimes with certain things. And I used to wear these all the time as a kid and seeing this rainbow one and the pink one really brought me back and I want to wear them because they're cute and if you're wearing like just a black shirt put on a pop of color choker I forgot the word for a second put on a pop of color choker and there you go outfits done all right so that is it for this video finally it only took me an hour and a half to film this video holy crap I will see you on my next one bye guys I don't know how I feel. I think we're good. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna do a mukbang. ASMR action. <laughs>